Welcome to the cabaret of what is the importance of Oxford University and the Rhodes Scholarship? Well, according to Oxford languages, <laughs> which is the, on the same level, people, as the top linguistical meaning givers on the planet. They call nomenclatures, the shot callers, the namers of everything, all the disciplines. So again, according to Oxford languages, the importance and or definition of Oxford and the Rhodes Scholarship. Well, it's the second oldest university on the planet, allegedly. And it's the educator of 28, count it, 28 Nobel Peace Prize winners. And it's cited as the best higher education of learning institution on the planet. That's of March 30th, 2017. I don't think it changed since then, people. And along with Cambridge, which is also in London, We got Harvard, Dartmouth, Brown, Cornell, Columbia, Yale, Penn, Princeton, and Oxford. And they are all Ivy League universities, top on the planet. Same as that Ivy that's on all of Judas Caesar's head. Mm -hmm. And the Russian Kremlin has it at the top of their uh, substantial, (laughs) for lack of a better poetical people. And our Statue of Liberty has Ivy too, Mm -hmm. because Ivy represents protective properties. Duh, people, hidden in plain, you can plainly see it vision. Ivy seals all the cracks and the crevices by these evil devices and these demons, people, and it's all prominent Roman remnants, and they got Ivy representation, and that's because the Inuit co-ept this nouveau ordo cyclorum is real, and it's under one synagogue, one unit, under some kind of guard of their god. And it's all has an army, y'all, stationed at the Harvard Yard. (laughs) Yeah, metaphor. You gotta read more if you need or want to decode these evil codes. Uh-huh. By the big coons, I'm talking about us and the big balloonas with mucho grande cojones. Listen to my Spanish. E no si, dente dre hasta que controle el mundo, pu undo pedido. I know the Latin and the Spanish is kind of shaky, folks, but it's called practice. Practice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, what I said in English was, and they won't stop, and they can't stop. Until they control the whole world by one order. I know conspiracy theory. Well, the most well-known conspiracy theory in the whole wide wicked world is 3.14. People, that's solution. Or unsolved conclusion. (laughs) So it's conspiracy theory by acute. An accurate description and etymological definition and meaning go cross-check it. And the roads are the new and the old controllers of the planet. The world, El Mundo. You know what I'm saying? And these scholars, you know what they do? They ship this. And I'm talking about their taught thought that they teach to all the tenants all over the planet. Go cross-check it. We are matrix out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? By these Saturnians. I mean, scholars. Via 3-9 revelations. And to end the poem, the poet is going to biblically quote it. Three nine revelations. And for those who always say, well, that don't say that in my Bible. You know what I'm saying? Well, get your Bible. New International Version, King James Version, or one of them exclusives. Your grandmama gave you Bibles. You know what I'm saying? Because people, I promise, they say the same damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Behold, I will make them, or those of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but they do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship thy feet and to know that I love thee. Welcome, people, to the cabaret of Hold On, Folks. The scary movie is almost over. <laughs> you understand the quote at, people? This is a new it called this Nouveau Ordo Seclorum. It said on our money. One unit, one thing. Understand a pro at people, a synagogue, a catholicos. People listen to that Latin, they tell you what it is. The Catholic Church, the synagogues are one thing. And all you gotta do is read that thing. Quran, Torah, the Bible. People, it's the same damn story. Miriam, Mara, Mary. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Jesus. <laughs> Peace creation, baby. <laughs> six sentences in the Bible and she got like six chapters in the Quran and she was a little girl that showed favor to a 90 something year old man in that Jewish Bible it's a story that goes round and round round and round I promise I built for 
me. But it's common sense. <laughs> common sense ain't never wrong. What you say? Damn. That was common sense. Because it ain't never wrong. Peace creation back.